So beautiful, so full, but look, what's this? Blank. I don't know about you, but finishing sketchbooks for me is really hard. So today I was gonna do a sketchbook tour, like open every page and talk about it. And I was flipping through and looking at everything and I realized I still have 10 pages left. Not that many at all. And I just felt like it would be wrong to put this sketchbook to rest without filling in those 10 pages. So for maybe the first time in my entire fucking life, I'm gonna finish a sketchbook. I can do whatever I want in there. It can be blobs, it can be landscapes, it can be uh, squiggles or suns or moons, what? It can be whatever I feel like, but it has to be finished and it has to be finished today. So that's what I'm gonna do. It should be interesting. We'll see how crazy it makes me. That's what I'm doing today. I did it. I have a finished sketchbook here. Can you believe that? Unbelievable. Three hours later. So it took, it took longer than I thought it was gonna take, but I did it. I did it. You can see I went for like a varying array of things and colors and just went really quickly sketching things out. And as time went along, I got more and more over it. So my paintings get um, worse and worse, but you know what? I did it. It's done. And check this out. It's, <laughs> it was an attempt at some like cloud layers, but it didn't quite go that well. But it's the last page. That was a pretty good exercise, actually. I would definitely recommend that. Just like taking 10 pages and being like, okay, you have to finish these 10 pages today. It gives yourself that time constraint and forces you to create when maybe you're not feeling up to it or you're too tired to. And you make some interesting things. Like just like some interesting things that I wouldn't have normally done and some crap, but that's fine. That's what sketchbooks are for. They do not have to be masterpieces. If you don't like the paintings that you made, don't worry about it, it's a sketchbook, it doesn't matter. Sometimes I'll do a, a painting in my sketchbook and I'll be like, oh, I'm not fond of that. That's not too good. And then I'll come back later and be like, ah, I kind of like how that is. I kind of like the sketchy look it has. I like the colors I did. I like the composition. And looking at it, I can learn a lot from what maybe I could do next time when I do a similar painting. So that was fun. And now it's done. And finally, I can do a sketchbook tour. So next video, or maybe the video after that. Sometime soon, I'm gonna do a sketchbook tour where I talk about all of these paintings. I go through the whole thing. We'll have a little walkthrough and it'll be fun. So I'll see you next time.